Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today it's a really cute makeover coming your way. So my friend and former colleague Rachel reached out to me and she just had a baby a year ago. Little Marlo, she's so cute. And she said, can you come help decorate her nursery? They live in a rental home. And it's so beautiful, but she's just been kind of stuck. She has a few pieces, all the key furniture, a crib, a dresser, this cool mint green bookshelf that leans against the wall. But when it comes to decoration, she feels kind of stuck. She's like, I don't know how to put it together. I want this room to have some life and some personality to it. So I am here to help. They have given me a budget of $500. So I'm gonna show you how I've used that money to create a cozy and warm nursery. The first thing I'm gonna do is obviously change the ceiling light. And I say obviously because you guys know I change lights whenever I can. Because it really does make such a huge, huge difference to a room. And I feel like with a nursery, you can have a lot of fun with lighting. So they had just this, it looks like a very old school light, which I feel like would be cool for some people, but I wanted to add something hanging. I wanted a statement light. So I found this light that cost me a whopping $19, guys. And it looks like this beautiful cloud that is just floating from the ceiling. It's actually made from what kind of feels like paper. You like maneuver the paper and crinkle it up so it looks like a cloud. And I just think it looks so beautiful without being like too in your face. What a difference already. And we're only on the first item. Next up, I'm focusing on this wall above the change table and dresser. So this is where all of Marlo's clothes are kept, all of her like changing necessities are kept as well. And I really wanted to add a shelf, one to provide more storage, but also so I could create a little hack where Marlo could, well, I mean, I said Marlo, where Rachel could hang Marlo's kind of like key outfits or those bulkier items like winter sweaters and cardigans and jackets that don't necessarily fit in the drawer. So what I did for this hack was get just a basic white shelf that has brackets. I took a dowel from the hardware store. This cost me $1. I painted it with chalk paint. I went for kind of like a sagey, greeny gray color. And I simply tied the dowel in the brackets with butcher's twine. Like super, super simple. I did little bows because I just thought that looked really cute. Now suddenly the shelf becomes this space to hang items on. I also just think it's a really cute way to mix function and decor because let's face it guys, like kids clothes are so freaking cute. Like this polka dotted onesie romper thing that I would wear. Like, please, someone make this in my size. I also love how this shelf now becomes an extra storage area. So I put a cute plant up here. I put her little shoes. They're so cute and small. Oh, and also this pom-pom basket that Rachel already had to keep all of her like changing table stuff, her creams, all of that. I also got these really cute mini hangers to hang all of Marlo's clothes from. They are linked down below in my Amazon shop. Quick plug, if you guys don't know, I have an Amazon, an Amazon. I have an Amazon shop where I've curated all of my favorite Amazon picks. So I try to update it every new video I put out. Um, you'll find all of the Amazon products linked over in the shop. And that link is down below, including these cute little hangers. Next up was a rug. Of course, every bedroom, but especially a nursery, I feel like needs a really cozy rug. So Rachel had put down like a play mat for Marlo, which was really cool. I loved the triangles, but it didn't really feel cozy. It's a great mat for Marlo to play on during the day, but it wasn't big enough and it just didn't have that kind of cozy textured feel that I thought this room deserved. So I went on Rugs USA and got this amazing Moroccan inspired rug. Texture, it's so, so important. So Obviously in a crib, you can't have tons of pillows and accessories, but you can have fun with texture on your reading chair or on your rug like I did. All the products, by the way, are linked down below if you wanna get the look in your own kid's room. I also think this rug is just beautiful for any person's room, to be honest. Whether you're a child like Marlo or an adult like me, <laughs> if you're wanting to create a more sophisticated vibe in a kid's room, go with a rug that you would use in your living room. And that way, when the kid kind of grows or their style changes or your style changes, you can move the rugs around in your house and use them in other rooms. 
And then I actually added curtains to the window. So they already have a blackout blind, but again, one of the easiest ways to change up a space is with patterned curtains. I bought these really, really beautiful ones from Society6. Not sponsored at all, but I love Society6 and the accessories they're now offering in the home decor section. So you can find like all the art prints you loved printed on um, decor pieces, like these beautiful curtains. I love the yellow in them. Rachel asked for something sophisticated, like younger feeling, but not like super girly or feminine. So I thought that yellow was a really great color, but it brings in that kind of feminine pop with the flowers. And I just, I just think they're beautiful. And just add some color to this room and some personality, which is what Rachel had asked for. So Rachel had set up this cute little reading nook for Marlo and obviously I feel like in every nursery you need a cozy area to read books before bed, but I just felt that this corner was a little bit cluttered and it felt really pressed up against the crib and she had this table to keep a table lamp on. And I was like, no, we gotta get rid of the table that's only hold there to hold the lamp. It just felt really cluttered. So what I did was take away the table, take away the lamp, and actually just put a simple wall sconce on the wall. It's plug-in, so very renter friendly. You don't need to hardwire anything to the wall. Also from Amazon, it was $22. I love how it's this cute gold color, and it's just enough light to create a cozy atmosphere in the evening when they're reading books. Now above the crib, I am hanging two pictures. Originally, I was actually gonna fill this wall with decals, but once I got into the space, I just felt like the black decals I had were gonna be a little bit heavy in the space. So I decided just to hang two pieces of art, one of which Rachel already had, and one um, I bought. I love the cute squiggle. I just think it's, again, really kind of sophisticated, still like, younger but could double as art for an adult's room. And I feel like when you're building a nursery, this is really key. It's finding pieces that kind of grow up with your child. So I feel like Marlo, you know, if she wanted, could have this art piece in her room until she's a teenager, but it totally works in the vibe of a nursery. As always, I will say, of course, when you're hanging art prints above a crib or in a child's room, you wanna make sure they're really securely attached to the wall. One way you could make sure that these are really secure to the wall is to use Velcro. Of course, also you wanna put some sort of nail or screw in the wall to actually hang the art on. Please be careful when you're hanging art above or anything heavy above a kid's crib. So in the theme of kind of like grown up nursery decor, I wanted to find a mobile that was also gonna act as decor that you could have in any part of your house. I feel like mobiles now are such a kind of staple decor piece for, for anyone. A lot of companies are making mobiles to put in like adult rooms just because they're so beautiful. So for Marlo's room, I again wanted to find something that she could grow up with and something that, you know, if Rachel and her partner move and they don't want it in Marlo's room anymore, you could hang this in your living room or your kitchen or in front of a window. This is from Etsy. Again, it's linked down below. The seller makes these by hand. They're stunning. This one is gold, very like geometric with all the different shapes. I've just hung a piece of string to the wire to make it longer. And I feel like this kind of completes her little crib area. She has two prints and then a mobile on the side to balance it all out. And then finally, I'm just adding a couple of baskets. So she had this plastic tub for her toys. I'm just switching it out for a basket that has lots more texture. I also really love playing with patterns and textures and mixing them. So you'll see that these baskets do not match the rug or each other, but I feel like they still totally work together. Baskets, I've said many times, are such a good way, especially in a kid's room, to house all those things that you might not have space for and that just don't look that great out on display. So toys, books, dirty clothes. Use a decorative basket and you'll be amazed at what a difference it makes. And it also corrals all that clutter that kids seem to make everywhere they go. <laughs> okay, so now it is time to reveal the space to Rachel and Marlo. I'm so excited. I feel like this makeover is proof that you don't need a ton of stuff to really transform a room. It's just sticking to those key elements um, and picking a style and going with it and committing. And all of a sudden you have a room that feels like it has so much character and personality. Okay, so let's bring them in to see if they think the same. <laughs> Can I give it? Oh my God. <laughs> this looks totally different. I can't believe you did this in like five hours. Holy cow. You like it? 
Yeah, I love it. And then uh, over here I did a little like open close it. So you have that's more so storage. cute. And our little shoes are up yeah. there. Marlo. Baby's first closet. With all your cute clothes. This is great. Thank you so much. Oh, and look at the mobile, Marlo. It's so beautiful. <gasps> <laughs> this corner looks so much better. It really does. I'm so glad. I got rid of the little table and lamp. Yeah. And I just feel like there's more space. And also there was a bunch of cords yeah. under there, which was like a death trap. They're just behind us. This is yeah. so great. It's so Yay. bright and cheerful. I'm so glad. I'm so happy, Marlo. Ah. What do Yay. you think? Ooh, look at this. Yeah. It's like a big flower, Marlo. And all your cute outfits can go here. <laughs> do you want to crawl around, little lady? Take a look. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? <laughs> this is a huge difference. Oh, so it's just so like much it. warmer. And I'm so glad you like it. It was so austere before, but it was just kind of cold. <laughs> Some love and a little bit of life. Ah, <laughs> And there you guys have it. I really hope you enjoyed this renter-friendly nursery makeover. Let me know in the comments down below how many of you have kids at home. I'm so curious to know. And if you want to see more kid-friendly content like this. Also a big thumbs up for Marlo. How cute is she? And her clothes. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next Friday.